Hey everyone, so I love Scholar Gladiatoria's channel. It's a great wealth of knowledge for HEMA and swordsmanship alike, but Matt Easton does one thing with his katana that just really bugs me every time when I see it, and here's why you shouldn't do it. The weapon itself is, is I chose the... All right, so did you see that? So the way he pulls his katana out of the sheath bugs me. He doesn't break a bark, he just pulls it out and that's it. And what do I mean by break a barky? Well, let's go through the proper way to unsheathe a katana. So here's my katana. This is the sheath, the sire, and the, the, the blade sits inside it. And so you hold the mouth of the sheath with your left hand and just using your left thumb, you just push until the habaki comes out of the sheath. And then from there, then keeping tension on the spine of the sword, you just pull it out and that's it. That's how you unsheathe your sword. Now, why is that the proper way? Well, there's two reasons why this is the proper way to unsheathe your sword. The first is for safety. So by breaking habaki, you ensure that you have control over the sword the whole time. You don't need any excess force to pull it out. And that way then you can ensure that the blade rides along the spine of the sword when it's coming out of the sheath. Because a very sharp katana can cut through a soft wooden sheath. And if you don't have it riding on the blunt end, the spine, then it can cut through and you can damage the sheath, you can damage the edge, and if you do it really, really badly, you can damage yourself. Now, the second reason is to protect the mouth of the sheath, also known as the koaguchi, the mouth of the sire, and it's fit to the habaki. So the sire is the Japanese name for the sheath, and there are people called sayashi, sire workers, who are woodworkers, who spend their entire job just ensuring that the, the fit of the sire to the blade is perfect. And this includes the fit of the koaguchi, the mouth of the sheath, to the habaki. Now, it needs to be ensured that it's not too tight because then you need more force to pull it out and that's not safe as we've talked about with control over the blade the whole time. And if it's too loose, then that's also not safe because then the sword can fall out. And I've made a video about catching a falling sword because this is something that eventually happens to all katana. But at the start of your katana's life, you don't want it to be loose. So pulling out the katana without breaking habaki first puts a lot more force on the koguchi, the mouth of the sheath, than necessary. And this speeds up the wear and tear that it undergoes and it makes it lose that perfect grip quicker. So the proper way would be to break habaki, gently pull it out, and then you have minimum forces required to safely extract your sword from the sheath. Now the reverse is also true because you want to resheathe with the minimum amount of force possible. And you see some people just shove it back in their sword really quickly and sometimes you even hear a loud clunk. Do I think that this is a good sword for the price? And that's really bad for all of the same reasons as we've talked about with unsheathing. You can have damage to the sheath, you can have damage to the sword, you can cut through your sheath and also you have more forces so you can speed up the wear and tear on your koguchi and it's fit to the habaki. So how do you resheathe properly? To start with, then grip your sire, the sheath, back in the same place you did when you unsheathed, and you ride along the spine of the sword. This way then you know that you have a reference point to the sword compared to your hands. And as soon as the kisaki, the tip, is over the mouth of the, the sheath, you just tip it in. And then, keeping tension on the spine of the sword, slowly put it in, and at the end, just very slowly, let it come together with the least amount of force needed because all of the force you use to put it back in is the same amount of force you should need to take it back out. So the least amount of force for it to sit nice and snug is all you want. So I hope you like this video and I hope you all go and unsheathe and resheathe in the safe and proper way if you don't already and extend the life of your sire and the koguchi and its fit to the habaki. So with that, I'll see you next time.